All right, welcome back to another Cameron Caravan's um, YouTube video. And this time I want to show you around the uh, the new CRV 651 Gap. You've seen me do a 651 Southern End before, but this time I'm going to take you through the Gap and uh, I'm looking a bit casual. I've actually snuck this van out uh, for the weekend with me, so uh, I can uh, definitely tell you all about it. So uh, let's go and have a walk through, will we? So, obviously, excuse the mess outside camp. The boys are here with me with the uh, swags outside. We'll start off at the uh, front of the van. We've got the, uh, the full-size tunnel boot. One of our features, I think I've shown you before, light turns the strip light on, as well as if you've got the slide-out kitchen option, it turns the light on and off above too. So a very nice feature, lots of room, lots of storage. Just look at the detail. I don't know if you can see. Let me show you on the other side about the uh, breakaway brake unit. We've got the fridge slide box, power cord, uh, sorry, 12 volt uh, outlet in there at the moment. The rock rails, the drop down jack legs, the twin jerry can holders, twin gas bottle, trailer mate jack. Another one of our features, putting an extra Anderson plug on the front of the van allows you then if you're uh, out camping and you happen to park under some trees possibly and you're not getting full sun on the uh, unit, you can plug an extra solar panel into the front of the uh, plug as well. Uh, in the plug in the front of the van. DA35 coupling. As we go around, we've got the uh, generator box uh, on a slide to make it nice and convenient. Other side of the tunnel boot. Now, this was one of the features I want to show you. The sort of detail we've gone to to recess the breakaway brake unit. So when you're sliding things in and out of here, you're never going to knock it off the wall. So many manufacturers just simply place it on the wall. And of course, the first thing you're going to do when you slide something in is probably damage the case, damage the uh, breakaway brake units, and then you won't have it anymore. As we come down the side of the van, we can probably pick up the uh, lithium batteries, uh, chassis mounted, the rock rails, a little dark under there, but the trailing arm independent suspension, of course, is uh, a feature on all our uh, off-roaders. Uh, the carbon fibre look down the side now, this has saved us about 50 kilos of weight. I should have unlocked it. Outside shower, our triple water tanks. So if you want to just fill up uh, one tank, you can. Two tanks or three tanks, and they're all by 80 litres. And on the inside, I'll show you where they're all plumbed separately. So we've got our power inlet, our toilet, our swift hot water system, gas electric there on the back. Of course, one of my brand new van, of course, I've snuck out of the yard, hence the dealer plate. We put the traffic lights here on the back of the van so they're not interfered by any viewing angle. And of course, we go to the extent of putting the extra one up high on the back of the van too. So nice little safety feature. Let's just drop back and have a look at this van. Of course, it's called The Gap um, for several reasons. Obviously, a well-known landmark in Albany. Obviously, when you're uh, in an off-roader, you're always going to get the gap in the road. But this one also then shows the rock formation of the gap uh, as well. If you've been out there, you'll notice these style rocks and the sky bridge in the decal as well. So uh, a nice little local touch. Let's drop back a bit and duck down. Plenty of ground clearance. You can see the rock recovery point, the rock recovery the recovery points, hopefully towing your friend out of the bog, not yourself. Trailing arm independent suspension. Plenty of guards uh, under there. Hopefully it's not getting too dark this time of night, but yeah, very nicely finished off, all clean where you're uh, not gonna get knocked around too much. Now, being the 651, it is a slightly bigger unit. So we can show you off this rear locker. It runs all the way to the roof all the way to the floor and then with that lift up storage as well underneath gives you lots of space this little box i'm going to show you when we get inside of the bathroom where the soap holder is at the moment but you can see lots of big camp chairs uh, oh, talking about camp chairs chairs like this will fit in there so um, lots of space i haven't rolled the awning all the way out for the weekend but as you can see roll out awnings some of our other features or what i found these lights are fantastic at night to light up, but when you want to sit and relax, we've got this nice little light, see it there on the top of the picnic table? That light is connected to the blue one on the door, as well as the blue one just inside the door, a little step one. So nice soft light when you want to sit and relax at night. You've got your 240 uh, outlets, your coaxial plug, uh, and your USB and cigarette lighter plugs there on the side of the van. Uh, external speakers as well on the side of the van. The big 16 inch tyres. Love these doors. You can just see there's no gaps around them. If I pull that door in tight, there is no bugs going to get through that uh, door whatsoever. It's got the midgy proof mesh on this side. If I open it up, it's got 
the crimp safe mesh on this side so just a beautiful uh, sturdy door so we might venture i think we've covered the outside of the van we might venture inside the van and straight away as we come in we might try and touch on the red arc i can turn the whole system off i can turn the whole system on i want to actually just show you here so the power cord was knocked off today um, but I've still got, because I've been charging, let's go back one screen, I've still got 93% uh, percent of my battery. So the solar was uh, keeping up with everything was running. You can see I'm using about 22 amps with everything turned on at the moment. So plenty of use of the, uh, of the power there. You might sort of hear me mucking around a bit. I'm actually trying to unlock my phone quickly and show you the uh, app on the phone. So straight away, I can look today and see I dropped down to 93% at my lowest charge. I can do that sort of per day, per hour. Um, you can see it's a brand new van because it hasn't even got that much history on the uh, on the Red Arc system yet. And I can look at my solar rate of charge per day as well. I can see where my water tanks are up to. I can turn my uh, lights on and off, my radio on and off, all of that. And of course, everything you see there is then from the phone as well. So if I want to go across here, let's do a little feature here where we go, what do we got? Internal lights. Internal lights off, internal lights on. I can do exactly the same on the external lights and turn them all off as well. So now when we come across here, you can see how much the power's dropped down. So straight away when you're bush camping, you can see how much time and how much use you'll get based on that current use of uh, power usage at the moment. So just a fantastic little system. I'm gonna keep the phone with me because I'm gonna show you another feature later. Have a look at the inside of this van. It's got the uh, full-size club lounge. What I like about that, we might even duck straight into the club lounge here. Lots of space. The table, it's a little tricky here to do with one hand, but it will slide in, out. It will s release the lever. It will go down, and an infill cushion can go in there and make another bed as well. And if I pull this little drawer out, pop that little cushion in there, Let's say I'm uh, watching TV here. We can turn the remote on. And all of a sudden, you've got a great spot to sit and relax, even with my camera and legs fitting in uh, here between the kitchen and the van. And of course, while we're on the TV, while we've just turned it on, it's a smart TV. So even though I'm out at Denmark with no uh, TV reception, uh, I've been able to watch all the news and everything else via the uh, hotspot on the phone uh, and then watch whatever channel I've uh, wanted to watch. Uh, we've been watching a bit of Netflix, a bit of YouTube. So it's been fantastic. So let's come back now. Lift that cushion up just so we can walk through. We might continue then down to the bed. As you can see in this layout, there is lots of space to get around the bed. And this is why I wanted to keep the phone in my hand. I wanted to show you these great little chargers. All of a sudden you can see there, the phone is taking charge from that surface charger. If I've got an older style phone, it's still got a USB point there. Even down to the detail of putting the CRV logo in them as well. So lots of great space. Hopefully I haven't got too much mess. No, I've found the clean cupboard. We've still got 240 power points. We've still got great little storage spots uh, in the van as well. As you can see, the pigeon hole back out there to the bed. Makes it nice and easy to pop your stuff. Even with a little sideboard here, somewhere to put your cups at night as well. You've seen me, we've always put these remotes right by the bed. You've seen me touch on these before, of course. And it's the roof fans. So I can just simply draw the air out. Crank it up to 100%. And all, oh, let's go up here a bit more. So you can see, it's just cranked right up now, taking the air out. If I want, I can hit reverse on the button and the fan will stop and start drawing the air out as well. So, oh, well, air back in, sorry. And of course it has a rain sensor on the hatch. And all you'd hear if it started to rain outside is that noise of the hatch putting itself away. And of course that's all fully 12 volt, even though we're on 240 here at the caravan park. It is just a nice uh, 12 volt uh, unit for the bush. If I come back while we're on the roof, let's spin back around here. We've actually made standard the Dometic DRS dust reduction system. So we could see it from the outside. It's a fully filtered system. Just ideal when you're going bush um, to help pressurize the van and keep the dust out. Of course, we've got our wind up antenna on the roof. We've got our, uh, look at the size of these windows. And of course, once we lift the blind up, 
100% block out in the blind and it's actually uh, silver reflecting on the other side of that. While we're here, if I had the radio on now, I could turn the speakers, inside speakers on, inside speakers off, outside speakers on and off. No more trying to program in your radio, you fade from inside to out. You simply, is, it's as simple as just pushing the button. So uh, another little uh, exclusive thing we've sort of started to uh, do for some time now on the CRVs. Now, some of the questions I've had on uh, YouTube from our uh, customers are showing you a bit more of the uh, storage in the van. So uh, let's come back here a bit and have a look at the pantry. Love these pull out pantries. You can imagine this could be the uh, cocktail bar. There's just lots of space. If I pull the next one out, we've got a great little cuttery drawer there in the van as well. So I oh know I've got chips and mess in there. I've got stuff all through the overhead cupboard. You've got the cuttery, the, um, the drawers under the sink that have been cut out uh, around the uh, waste out pipes. If I go down here, you, he you heard me mention the water. These are my three valves for my three water tanks. So I've got one valve turned on, two turned off. So I know then as I go through my water, I'm one third of the way through the water, two third of the way through the water, and you might be able to pick up the plum plumbing. Just how neat is all of that? And it all feeds all those separate tanks. So um, a great little system. While we're down low, it is a fan forced uh, oven grill. If I lift up the top just quickly. We can see we've got one electric, three gas on the cooker, so a very nice, yeah, you're in a caravan park, you use your 240. If you're in the bush, you're gonna use the gas. So it is a very nice little cooker, and the fact it drops away under the bench, have a look at that for bench space in this van. And of course, not missing any power and 12 volt outlets. While we're on the power and 12 volt outlets, let's duck under the table as well. Look at that, two, two double pole power points there, plus the 12 volt. And if there's someone on the opposite side of the table, you've still got that sort of room as well. So just nice sort of finishing touches that these vans uh, have. If I duck into another feature in our overhead cupboards, all our overhead cupboards have this rail. So if you've got your jar of jam, it's not gonna fall out, but all of them will, doing it with one hand, lift out. So all of a sudden, if this has become the um, cornflakes cupboard, you don't need the rail in place. You simply lift it out and you just left with those little cleats. So um, another nice little touch uh, that we do. Have a look at the hatch and the lights in this van. Of course, we've uh, talked about the uh, compressor driven fridge before and like, oh, like every good fridge, it should have beer in it. So uh, beer and chocolate, what, what more could you ask for? Microwave mounted above, lots of ventilation. Obviously I've got the roof hatch open here at the moment. You have got your block out blind and your fly screen if you want to keep the flies out and still have the uh, ventilation in the van. As we come down into the bathroom, turn the corner, front loader washing machine, plenty of cupboard space again in here, plenty of ventilation in the toilet with a uh, window as well behind the toilet. Let's have a look though, if I turn right, what I've shown you from before from the outside, that um, soap holder. Plenty of room in that shower, plenty of light, plenty of ventilation. It's just a nice, clean, simple shower. So uh, uh, hot water system, gas and electric, simple little switches there on the wall. Obviously I'm on a caravan, in a caravan park connected to mains pressure, so I'm on electric. If I was in the bush, I could go to gas. Plenty of power points there again too. So um, hopefully with that walkthrough, I've gone into a little bit more detail. I know I've gone a bit longer than what I uh, normally do, but uh, hopefully you've, uh, Got a bit more uh, out of that and uh, get to see what uh, the CRVs are all about. So, uh, of course, if you like the video, hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't done already. I will be trying to drop a lot more of these videos. Um, let me know in the comments too what you want to see and what you want to know about them as well. And uh, I'll try and make sure I touch on uh, more of that. Otherwise, I think it's... Uh, hang on, let me just check the clock. It is, I think it's that time of the day when you're out camping that uh, happy hour might have just started. So uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Hopefully uh, you um, keep following us and uh, I will catch you next time. Cheers, bye.